Hello, hello, this is TND Entertainment, and I am Danny. Today we're going to be looking at Episode 3 of Picard Season 3. This episode is called 17 Seconds. The whole theme of this episode has to do with fatherhood and the links a father would do to protect their kids. It is Star Trek 2. It has a lot of similarities to Star Trek 2. In Star Trek 2, Kirk discovers that he had a son that he didn't know about from a romance. Well, in this one, Picard finds out he had a son he didn't know about from a romance. Do you remember our shore leave on Kasparia Prime? The son in each one follows their mother's footsteps and become doctors or scientists also. Anyhow, this whole episode is a cat and mouse chase through a nebula between the strike and the titan. The other part of the episode has to do with Rafi uncovering the conspiracy that the Federation is trying to cover up. Let's get on with the spoilers now of this episode. It starts off exactly where we left off with the titan going deeper in the nebula and the strike following it. It seems that Titan is trying to hide in the nebula from the strike. They're being blasted by the strike and being heavily damaged and injured, including Shaw. Before Shaw has to go to Stick Bay, he transfers all his command codes to Captain Riker. I think it might be time you called me number one. Now, his idea is he wants to get the Titan away from the uh, Shrike and out of the nebula uh, so they can warp away very quickly. Picard says, no, we, sh we should stay and fight. We have a fighting chance. He says this because he wants to protect his son, who he just discovered. While Shaw is in Thick Bay, Jack Crusher is helping him. And he keeps, Shaw keeps saying is, why do they keep finding us? It makes Jack Crusher think about this. He sees a big trail of blood that came from sick people coming into sick bay. It makes him think, you know, I think I have, I think I know why. I'm gonna talk talk my theory with the captain. Well, since since they're on red alert, only the bridge crew is allowed on the bridge. He couldn't really discuss this with the captain, so he goes to see Seven of Nine who was relieved of duty in episode one when she helped Riker and Picard commandeer the shuttle to go see Crusher's ship. Between Jack and Seven of Nine, they come up with the idea it must be some sort of gas leak. Only thing they can think of is this bitening gas, which is totally poisonous to breathe. Where is, it, where is this leak coming from? Anyway, so they investigate and find out that the leak wasn't due to any kind of damage. It looked more like sabotage. Somebody is letting it leak out. The best thing to do is them to stop the leak. But how does the strike know about that? Somebody bore the Titan, sabotaged it, so the strike can find them. It seems the plot is thickening. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rafi is trying to discover a conspiracy. Why are they covering up the idea that there's more to this story than just a Roman terrorist stealing and using a portal weapon? There must be something to it. So she's working with Worf to discover. Worf had a name. His name was Titus Rika. He says, we should find Titus Rika and question him. So he chases him down, tie him up in a chair to interrogate him. The whole time, he is sweating profusely and shaking and trembling and breathing hard. Rafi thinks it's the withdrawal symptoms because she's been a drug addict before. She knows the drug withdrawal symptoms. The wharf looks at him and says, hmm. Just then, the guy's face goes off crazy. And Worf says, I know what this is. He's a changeling. A changeling? was one of the founders of the Dominion. Dominion was a, a big enemy of the Federation during 
season six and seven of Deep Space Nine. He started the whole Dominion War where they wanted to take over the Federation and take over the whole galaxy, the whole Alpha, Beta, and Gamma Quadrant. They also found that the portal weapon would just draw attention away from the bigger weapon that was stolen. So there's something bigger than the portal weapon. Back to the Titan, the Strike finds a Titan. They're hammering down, but Jack and 709 are fixing those gas leaks. Now, Batyrian gas is poisonous for humans to breathe. So Jack and 709 have gas masks and they're fixing the leaks in, in the area. They discover uh, that it's sabotaged. But still they're wondering, who was a saboteur? Uh, they reported to, to this bridge, and the bridge said that, you know, we can use this to our advantage. Riker want, wants to release some Batyrian gas in a section to lure the ship to a, to a certain section where they can escape. Picard says, no, let's use it to set a trap. Meanwhile, while they're arguing with this, uh, Seven of Nine leaves Jack to go fix the leak in another room. Jack is in the room, and this guy comes up with no mask, and he says, Hey man, don't come in here, it's kind of leaky. But then the guy comes up and just punches Jack in the face, and keeps pounding and beating the hell out of him, knocking his gas mask off. But but Jack I got a couple of punches in, and notice when he punched the guy's face, the guy's face sort of went all crazy and stuff. So Jack is being poisoned by bacterian gas, and he's... <gasps> he's wheezing, he's coughing, he can't, he can't go anywhere. He has to end up going to sick bay. When he recovers, he tells them there's a changeling on board of this ship. Now, the changeling who sabotaged the Titan, there's a changeling behind the disappearance of the weapon. I think the big enemy this season will be the, the changelings. So, what do you think? Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you know when the next Picard Season 3 episode comes out. Until next time, this is Danny saying, May the Force live long and prosper with you until all are one. Thanks for watching.